Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, so what's going on for my Cancerians? Okay, guys, so we have two cards that wanted to uh, pop out here. We have party, celebration, event, uh, public, social, uh, social gathering. Okay, and then we also have proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true. Okay, so two very different energies here. You guys could be, um, you know, celebrating or, uh, you know, some sort of milestone that you have hit or maybe you're meeting someone at a gathering here, okay? That could be the case also, but we do have love offer engagement agreement. So someone could be wanting to, you know, um, if it's not proposed to you, maybe ask you out on a date, maybe, you know, take things to the next level here. Okay. And it may be someone that, uh, you know, you are fond of as well, because this card also speaks about, you know, uh, wishes coming true. So let's go ahead and see, uh, let's clarify these energies. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, split the deck, and we have the World card. Okay, so off the bat here, Cancer, what I see is a major shift in your love life. Um, so it seems like the minute you've, you know, walked away or you, you've uh, finally decided to detach from maybe a situation that was no longer serving you, there is, um, you know, a massive change here because with the World card, this speaks about cycles coming to an end. And so there may have been a very repetitive cycle or there may have been a bond here that maybe... Uh, you feel you felt very you know stuck on I am seeing the hanged man here as well and so I see a cycle coming to an end but let's start off by seeing how this person is currently viewing you <clears throat> nine of wands queen of pentacles okay so this person is definitely viewing you as someone who has pretty much tried everything in your, uh, you know, everything kind of in the book here to make things work. It's something about your strength that this person, like something about your strength is being highlighted here. So I feel like this may be an individual where, you know, you have given them multiple chances and maybe now you're a bit guarded towards them. But here's what I will say, guys, like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit, this is also someone who's viewing you as like reclaiming your power or like no longer wanting to invest your energy in situations that no longer serve you. Now, if this is something fairly new, I could read it in a different way where you may be connecting with someone that knows that you feel exhausted or that, you know, you may have communicated to them that, you know, you haven't had the best experiences because the nine of wands could kind of be that wounded warrior, uh, you know, energy. So let's see what the mutual energies are, or any challenges you guys may be facing. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I see this more so as like some sort of clarity that is coming in for you or learning more about maybe yourself, uh, you know, the partners that you attract, what kind of relationship you would like to be in. Because with the Page of Pentacles, guys, it's kind of like the student card. And with the Ace of Swords, you're gaining clarity on whether, you know, it's this connection in particular or what you want moving forward. Yeah, devil on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, you have felt attached to this person or you feel like there was something very repetitive about, uh, you know, a bond here, but you felt like it was becoming unhealthy. So as much as you've detached from it, you may be, you know, learning, you know, uh, about it or, or learning how to kind of avoid situations of, uh, you know, as such, or maybe even just healing, like a period of healing here. But I see that in the mutual energy, there may be a message that's coming in for you. Okay, there. this could also be an, uh, an offer, right? And you guys do have the love offer card. So it could be a small offer that could grow into something larger. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, I feel like there is a breakthrough. There is some sort of clarity that is making you feel at ease. So let's see how you're viewing this person. It's almost like you're, like the energy that I'm getting is either you're detaching from an old situation and there's something new coming in for you, but you're still a bit um, guarded because you're healing from the past or it's like 
there's something new coming in for you, but you don't expect it at all. But it's like you're receiving what you have, uh, you know, manifested. So let's see how you're viewing this person. Queen of Swords, Five of Swords. So this you're viewing this person as someone that you've cut ties with. So this probably possibly is a past energy here. Because with the Queen of Swords, you're viewing them as someone who's currently detached. With the Five of Swords, you may be reminded of some sort of conflict that took place between you and this individual. And yeah, we have the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The star. The world, which we did see when we opened your read. Yeah. I'm kind of getting an energy of you trying your best to release or heal from a connection that no longer serves you. Or heal from like a, a person that you feel like... You, you know, you no longer trust. It's like their dishonesty is being highlighted because the way that you're viewing them is Queen of Swords and Five of Swords. So you may feel like, yes, this is someone, like you're viewing them in an energy of, you know, they're detached or I've cut ties with them. But with the Five of Swords, there's something here that you may still feel conflicted about or you're kind of going back and forth in your mind about maybe a decision here. So the Five of Swords could be mental conflict or it could quite literally be like an argument that took place between you and this individual. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you may be trying to put yourself out there. You may be trying to move on detached, but there's something here that you may want to gain some sort of clarity on, or you want to kind of clear the air. There may be something that you're holding on to that you want to reveal to this person, or you want to communicate how they've made you feel. But currently you're viewing them as someone who's detached, but you do feel like they're thinking about you or thinking about a decision that they've made, but you feel like they're kind of keeping it to their self. They're not really, um, you know, being vocal about it. So they're viewing you in the Nine of Wands energy. Let's see how you really feel. The Hierophant. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. We have the Seven of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. There's a lot of confusion, you know, uh, in your emotions here, Cancer. You know, with the um, Hierophant, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles. It's almost like either you felt very breadcrumbed in the situation or you feel like this person is someone who constantly sends you mixed signals, right? So if it's not about the person sending you mixed signals, it could just be that when you think about this person, you're not really sure how to feel because with the Six of Pentacles, it could be that you feel you were invested in the situation once upon a time, but now you're very guarded towards them. Commitment is still on your mind, but this could also be a card of like, um, you know, your um, your morals, your values, you know, that sort of thing. So maybe there's a difference in values here and maybe you feel like something doesn't feel realistic about this connection. So let's clarify this energy. Yeah, judgment. It's like you're, you really want to make a change here. You're trying your best to um, release this person. You realize what you bring to the table. We have the Empress, the King of Cups, and the um, Five of Pentacles. I do see that this is an individual who is missing you, but it's almost like, like what I'm getting here, Cancer, it's a very interesting message because I understand that, you know, you're inquiring about a person. I understand that it's a love reading, but how it's coming out to me is you're completing some sort of a cycle that was very repetitive. That's pretty much what I'm getting here. And with the Hierophant as well as the Judgment, it's like, you know, maybe there were, like, for example, maybe you guys did not share the same values or you are thinking about the commitment, but you're thinking about maybe the lack of effort when it comes to the commitment here. Because with the Judgment, you want to leave something behind. So what you're thinking about is some sort of massive change or major change that you're trying to make, but you also understand that it's not an overnight process. So even if it is to move to a higher level of commitment with this person, or for some of you, it's to completely leave it behind. The reason why I say that I'm more so getting leaving it behind is because you're viewing them in the Queen of Swords, Five of Swords energy, and we did see the Seven of Swords, which means you feel like you do not trust this individual. And even though it may feel difficult to leave this person behind, that's what you're doing here, or that's what you're wanting to do. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio also, but it's like you can sense there's some sort of change that you need to make, but I feel like you also know it's not going to be easy or it's not going to be an overnight process. What's the Page of Pentacles? King of Wands. Yeah. Bottom of the deck here, the Page of Wands. Someone really wants to speak to you. Like they want to hear from you. They want to know what you're up to. So I feel like maybe for, you know, because you're, being viewed by this person um, in the Nine of Wands energy. Either you have this person blocked or they feel like they don't know anything about you, what you're up to. They feel like you have some sort of guard up here. 
and this person really wants to speak to you they really want to know what you're up to and it could be stressing them out that they have no clue you know what you're up to or how you're doing or no way to uh, contact you right especially if this is someone who feels like they no longer have access to you whether it's because they're blocked or whether it's because uh, you know they don't know how to get through to you I just see someone who is paying attention to you someone who is wanting to pursue something with you but I more so see this as like let's talk or like can you hear me out type of energy um, especially with the ace of swords there as well you know it's falling in the mutual energy so it could be that this person wants to um, make a peace offering yeah six of pentacles and then bottom of the deck here, we have the Knight of Wands, the Sun, and the Justice card. This person wants to make something right with you. Someone here could be making travel plans as well, okay? But with the Sun card, um, yeah, it could be a Leo or a Libra with the Justice card. But this is someone who wants to express how they feel towards you, more so make something right. But the main message I'm getting here is like someone really wants to hear from you. So it's either someone you haven't spoke to in a while, or even if it's something uh, like a separation as of recently, they're really wanting to know what you're up to. And with the Six of Pentacles, you know, this is someone who wants to prove how they feel through, um, you know, effort. But it may be that you felt very breadcrumbed in this situation because with the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Six of Pentacles, maybe you feel like this person was giving to two situations or during the time of the bond here, you feel like they were neglecting the situation in one way or another. Okay, so you're viewing them in the Queen of Swords, Five of Swords energy. Um, let's see how they really feel. The moon, they feel like they don't really um, know much at this time. They may feel like they're very uncertain about, you know, where this connection is headed. They may also feel like there's some sort of secrecy present, like whether it's you know, like um, this person is not hearing from you, so they're assuming you're up to something or they're assuming, you know, just making assumptions because they're not receiving any sense of communication or it could quite literally be that this person feels um, that they were like you were not speaking to them or you cut ties with them because of something you figured out on your own. Because the moon could be, you know, essentially what you don't see, what's in the unknown. And bottom of the deck here, we have the star, the world. This person is viewing you, Cancer, as someone who is aiming at, uh, like you're you're working towards a goal and that's your main focus right now. Like the star could be when you finally have found your purpose or um, you have find it, like you're at a point in your life where you're like, okay, this is what I want and this is what I'm going to work towards every day. And they feel like this is when things started to shift in the dynamic. Like in a weird way, Cancer, I almost feel like maybe, uh, you know, maybe there was codependency or it could be that you were overextending yourself in this connection. But when something started to progress for you or when you found yourself or started, you know, um, it, you know, kind of like loving yourself or nurturing yourself, a lot changed in this dynamic. It's making your person feel very stuck. Like, I don't want to say it like, oh, when you started to love yourself, you know, this person, you know, found it offensive. They just more so feel like when you started to love yourself or when you started to focus on a goal, you kind of just, um, this connection wasn't something you were as invested in, is how this person feels. Okay, what's the moon? The fool. Yeah, what's hidden from you is this person definitely wants to take a leap of faith towards you. You know, the fool pointing in your direction as well as the king of wands here. We have the two of swords, the seven of cups, and the ten of swords. This person is well aware, and wow, the king of swords. So this person is well aware of the ending that has, uh, you know, occurred here. And with, again, two of swords and seven of cups, they're also aware of the emotional confusion. I just feel like this is someone right now um, who wants to hear from you or they're very curious as to what you're up to. So many of you could be kind of like, you know, making moves in silence, or maybe you've quite quite literally like relocated where this person does not know what you're up to and, and uh, you know, they don't have access to you because that's what I'm persistently getting, like someone who wants to hear from you, but it seems like you're trying to make a change here. Like for some of you, you could be trying to, like what you're manifesting is a stable commitment with the higher fan. Maybe you are ready for marriage or you are ready for, you know, like a higher level of commitment here. And that's the change that you're trying to make. But maybe the change that you have to make is to completely move away from a connection or a person that you no longer trust. And with the moon as well as the fool card, like, yeah, they want to take a leap of faith towards you because that's what's in their feelings. But with the moon, it's like there's almost some sort of fear, like the, they're fearing the unknown. 
because the moon is what you can't see it's what happens in the dark so this could even be someone who's like yeah i want to speak to cancer but like what's going to happen or are they going to you know respond here and for some of you i really feel like this is an individual who just doesn't have access to you because they're viewing you in the nine of wands energy and we have the moon which is almost like how do i get through to cancer or like how do i even reach out to them so let's see what the potential outcome is Ace of Pentacles, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. I see that you're going to be um, spending a lot, a lot of time like socializing. You could even be like networking or meeting new friends. Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. With the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Eight of Pentacles and the potential outcome, I see your person like observing this connection, you know, analyzing, possibly even wanting to put forth the effort. But here's what I will say. On your end, you're more focused on making a change. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is just kind of giving me an energy of maybe your, your focus shifting to career or you deciding that, okay, for example, if there's something that you're working on and it's progressing for you, you're going to receive some sort of opportunity here. I'm just being completely honest. I don't want to lead you in the wrong way. I see you guys focusing more on career. You know, I see you focusing on some sort of opportunity that is coming in for you and you're like focusing on your stability, your finances, building something for yourself. Because, yeah, and their feelings, they want to take a leap of faith towards you, but it seems like they don't have access to you. And realistically, it looks like you're more focused on making a change or detaching from a situation that uh, no longer resonates with you. Okay, so that's what I see here, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, Cancer versus all 12 signs. Okay, guys, so we'll start off with Aries and then um, go all the way through to Pisces. For some of you, the Ace of Pentacles could be like, uh, you know, an opportunity, like a new, um, a state, like a stable new beginning. So not for all of you is it going to be finances, but we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So it's almost like what I'm getting intuitively is like you're already working on something and that's just requiring most of your time and focus, but it's, it's working out for you. So it's making you feel positive. It's not like you're working, um, you know, at a dead end job or you're working towards something that is not, uh, you know, uh, progressing for you so let's see here okay so let's start off with Aries okay guys so if you are involved with an Aries this Aries could be um this could be fairly new like a connection because a page of cups could be read as a crush energy if not this Aries may just want to tell you how they feel I will say there's a bit of an unpredictable energy associated here but the page of cups for the most part is like compliments or like a light-hearted energy to see how you feel initiate a conversation here if you are involved with a Taurus this Taurus feels stuck on you but they don't really know what to do this is more of a mental energy okay with the eight of swords they may be thinking about the uh, circumstances they may be thinking about the situation at hand but they're not really sure what to do so it could be like limiting beliefs or it could be quite literally restrictions in their uh, 3d okay so if you're dealing with a Gemini this Gemini seems to be upset about something okay they could be currently like detaching from the situation here and they're accepting the reality of the situation also so there may be something that wasn't clear to them in the past that is uh, you know very clear to them now if you are dealing with another cancer this cancer is being very silent with you because <clears throat> with the high priestess that could be silent treatment but they are uh, there is some sort of telepathic communication between you and another cancer it could also be that they're uh, using their intuition to kind of guide them through this connection here. If you are involved with the Leo, this Leo definitely wants a change in this dynamic here. They may be feeling called to reach out to you or maybe feeling called to like meet up with you, but there's some sort of positive change that's occurring between you and this Leo. If you are involved with the Virgo, this Virgo is definitely thinking about commitment, definitely thinking about, you know, building with you and you may receive an unexpected message here or when this person uh, or when this Virgo reaches out to you, you may feel like what you're expecting is not what's going to happen is what I'm getting. If you are dealing with a Libra, this Libra has a lot of love for you, but what's on their mind right now is they want to have a heart to heart conversation. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to know how you feel. But I will say they have a lot of love for you. This could also be, um, you know, a Libran who is going to uh, some sort of counseling, therapy, or someone else, uh, or going to someone else for advice about this connection here. <clears throat> 
If you are involved with the Scorpio here, they could be manifesting communication from you or they're manifesting an opportunity to speak to you. I will also say the Scorpio holds you on a very high pedestal. They may feel like you are their dream partner or someone that they um, would really enjoy, you know, uh, starting a family with or being in a connection with. So if you are involved with the Sagittarius, the Sagittarius could be, uh, you know, kind of in a strategic energy right now. They could, there could be something that they're dishonest about or something that they're not really, um, you know, bringing to the forefront. Okay. And they, there, this could also be silence, like someone maybe doing something, but not being able to own up to it. So if you're dealing with the Capricorn here, we have the Queen of Cups energy. So again, this, this could be someone who is viewing you as very nurturing, very caring, okay? But I more so see it as someone who has a lot of love for you. It's interesting because with the Capricorn energy, I'm not really getting it as like a like a lover. I don't know. Maybe this could be like a family or a friend, but it's someone who has like a lot of love for you. They're thinking about you. They're wishing you well, like hoping you're doing, you know, the best that you can here. If you're involved with an Aquarius, they could be holding back from you right now with the Strength card, okay? Um, they could be keeping something to their self. They're trying to remain very composed or reserved, so they're not wanting to show you their vulnerable side at this time. If you're dealing with the Pisces, this Pisces is kind of in between worlds. They may even feel like they have a lot on their plate right now, so it could be a very busy time uh, for this Pisces in here. And um, I see them more so like either like juggling or they feel like they have a lot on their plate, but the connection is still on their mind. Um, their energy is a, kind, a little bit all over the place here is what I see, uh, but mainly or initially what I got here was like in between worlds, uh, having a lot on their plate, needing to find some sort of balance when it comes to this connection. Okay, so that is what I'm getting for you, Cancer. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.